Welcome to another Game of Shack review. Today's game we're going to be reviewing is Street Fighter V on the PS4. Now, this came out on the 16th of Feb, which was two days ago. Um, and it's kind of got a good or bad vibe. Um, so I guess we should kind of start with the bad and then leave it to go with the good, so you guys get a good understanding of uh, the bad, and then you get a nice feel with the good. So, let's start with the bad. The first bad point I want to point out is the... I put the disc in, my PS4, 6 gigabyte download, straight out of the box, I'd had it literally like 10 hours after it came out, 6 gigabyte download already. Um, do we really, are we, are we in an age still where we haven't got big enough storage systems and that games are not are rushed out to the market that we, we, have, to, we have to buy a, a game for 42 bucks in the UK and it, it still be not finished and that they have to put out another six gigabyte, you know, if we went back to DVDs, that's three DVDs worth of content that we have to download before we can actually play online with this thing. So that's my first bugbear with it. My second is, it's not finished. Okay, there's no uh, CPU versus mode. There's um, very limited story. Um, for some of the guys out there that have played this, you know, you'll agree with me. It's, I think there's 16, 16 characters. They've all got a story mode, which is four fights each. That's it. One round, four fights. There's no three round duels, there's nothing. It's just literally you beat one guy, next guy, next guy, next guy, done. That's your story mode over and done with. So um, it's not the best really. Uh, story mode's pretty poor. Um, the only versus mode there is is if you play another player. You can't play the computer. Um, Capcom has said that it's coming, but again, why release it if it's not there? Um, and it's not really a finished game, and it's not really there's not enough there for a, an, an offline mode that w that wants to keep you picking it up and putting it back in, and it's certainly not worth 42 quid. Street Fighter Five they released to, I think to bring out a rival for the Xbox's Killer Instinct series, so I can see what they're doing with the online stuff. Offline is just it's just poor for the price. Um, so six gigs straight out of the bat. <clears throat> extremely expensive for what it is, not finished game, loads of content coming apparently but why not wait and polish this off first before you release it. I understand the rush but that's fine. So let's get down to the good. Beautiful. Graphics are stunning. For a fighting game, absolutely superb. want to say it's cell shaded but it's not quite. Um, want to say it's, it's, it's the cartoon feel, it, it is. It's just got a really nice visual look, apart from the, the, the storytelling in the story mode where it goes to like a comic book anime feel. But it does, when you play the game, it, it looks fantastic, the environments are stunning, the fighters look great. Bit overemphasis on the females' um, top half, shall we say. Thank you Capcom. Um, it, but no, it's absolutely superb and what it does do more than anything is it makes you feel like you're playing this. It makes you feel, and for those guys that don't know, this is Street Fighter 2 on the SNES. Um, the whole game's on here, by the way. You plug that into your SNES, there's no downloads, there's no multiplayer, uh, there's no um, stick it in and we have to wait an hour for it to, to download the update. The game's on there. Um, they could do it then, but they can't do it now. It makes you feel like it, it's Street Fighter. Um, it, it gives you that sense of Street Fighter. Uh, it just feels like you've put on your favourite jumper. It's natural, it feels right, and it, it kicks ass. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's a great... It's a great game, in a sense, for a fighter that's online. Um, looks like there's going to be like, quite a lot of stuff to do online when Capcom actually sort out their... Um, server issues that they've got. I still haven't actually managed to get onto a multiplayer game yet. I've done a couple of story modes with various characters, Ryu and, and Kami, and then I've just literally been doing survival with Kami trying to build a level up 
Um, there is another good thing, it's PS4 and PC cross-platform play. So you can play against PC players across the globe as well, which is which is a leap forward for a lot of games. You know, we should be seeing that more and more. Uh, we've got the Capcom Pro Tournament, uh, Esports League. Um, all future DLC characters are earnable for free, which is great. So hopefully, they're not going to start chucking out you know loads and loads of um, DLC that you have to pay for, and they've already charged you forty two quid for an unfinished game. Um, and yeah, it's it's a great fighting game. The moves are still there. The, 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 it's very it's it's almost like if you remember how to do a fireball on a SNES, you'll figure it out on this. Um, quite easy. It hasn't changed. It's still Street Fighter. Um, so the good just about outweighs the bad. Um, at a score out of ten, this copy I hold in my hands, this one right here, I want to give six because it's not finished. But don't take that as a bad six, take it as a good six because we know there is stuff coming, there is DLC coming, there is modes coming, they are at, they are trying to add stuff to the game you know, in a few weeks. So it could change, but at the moment this game, six out of ten. If it was a finished game, it would be up there with eight or nine. But don't shy away from it. Uh, jump in, you know, after a few bug fixes on the servers, you'll have multiplayer action. After a few weeks, I'm sure we'll get extra battle modes, which they have said are coming. A lot of offline content's coming, and hopefully they extend the story, and there is a lot they can do with it. Uh, and then maybe um, my mind will change. But as it currently stands, this game, off the shelf, with its 6 gigabyte extra content you download straight away, and the server bug errors and the non-multiplayer that I've been able to do so far, it gets a 6 out of 10 because it's gorgeous. Um, so, we'll see. Keep, a, keep an eye on Twitch because I'll, I'll be streaming it over on our Twitch channel not too soon. Um, and hopefully getting some multiplayer on there. So come back and talk to me then. Uh, if you've played it, obviously leave your, leave your um, comments below and let me know what you think. Because it would be really cool to find some other people that may have a difference of opinion to me. Um, I'm not a huge multiplayer gamer. I love offline play and... You know, this is a game that I was hoping was going to achieve that. So, yeah, leave some comments down below. Uh, hop over to our Facebook page um, and, and let us know there as well. Please do give us a subscribe and pop over to our channel, uh, our website as well, www.thegamershack.co.uk. Loads of unboxing videos coming up and more reviews like this. But um, for now, Street Fighter V is a 6 out of 10. Cheers, guys. Speak soon. Bye.